This problem says to consider the reaction between sodium metal and chlorine gas, and it's given already balanced as 2Na solid plus Cl2 gas forms 2NaCl solid. Part A is if 10 mol moles of each, excuse me, if 10 moles each of sodium and chlorine gas are allowed to react, how many grams of sodium chloride will be produced? So one thing that you want to notice in this problem is that you are given an amount of both reactants, both sodium and chloride, chlorine gas. You're given that you know how much you have of that. That means that this problem is a limiting reactant problem. This is a limiting reactant because we know how much we have of each of our reactants. That means that we have to figure out if all of the sodium that we have reacts, how much of our product would we have? And if all of our chlorine reacts, how much of our product would we have? And we have to choose the one that makes the smaller amount of product. So let's start out with, we know we have 10 moles of sodium and you can do limiting reactant problems in different ways but what I like to do is I like to see how much product we can form out of each reactant and then choose the smallest one so if we do that we can go from moles of sodium to moles of sodium chlorine chloride using the molar ratios in the balanced reaction. So for two moles of sodium, that forms two moles of sodium chloride. And I put the moles of sodium on the bottom so it would cancel, and the moles of sodium chloride on the numerator because that's what I want to convert to. And the twos came from the coefficients in the balanced reaction. So that's the first step. The question is asking how many grams of NaCl, so let's go ahead and convert from moles of NaCl to grams. I'll put moles on the bottom, so it'll cancel with this moles here, because what we did is we canceled out the moles of sodium so far, so we're in moles of NaCl, and converting to grams, because that's what we want to convert to. And the relationship between moles and grams is our molar mass. Molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44, and that's adding the molar mass of sodium and the molar mass of chlorine together. That number always goes with grams, and that's the number of grams per one mole. So that cancels out the unit of moles, and now we can calculate 10 times 2 divided by 2 times 58.44. I get that to be 584.4 grams of NaCl. So what that's telling me is that if all of my Na were to be consumed, I would produce 58, uh, excuse me, 584.4 grams of NaCl. Now let's do the same with our chlorine. If we're starting with 10 moles of Cl2. We'll put moles of Cl2 on the bottom and moles of NaCl on top. And this one, the coefficient of the Cl2, there's nothing there, so it's an invisible one. And 2 is our coefficient of our NaCl, so that'll go on top. And same step here. Now we're canceled out the moles of Cl2, and we are in moles of NaCl, so we can convert to grams using the same step as before, because this cancels out the unit of moles and leaves us in grams of NaCl. So we get 10 times 2 divided by 1 times 58.44. I get that to be 1,168.8 grams of NaCl. 
So what this is telling me is that if all of my Cl2 were to react, it would produce 1,168.8 grams of NaCl. But if my sodium all reacts, it could only produce 584.4 grams of NaCl. So basically, once my sodium runs out and it produces this 584.4 grams of NaCl, then the reaction is going to stop. So we know that my sodium is going to run out first and it's going to produce this amount of, we, we always choose the smaller amount out of the two conversions of whichever um, product we are calculating for. And we just need to round this to three sig figs. So let's round to the four. And the four behind it makes this four stay the same. It would be 584 grams of NaCl for part A. Then for part B, it's asking how many grams of the excess reagent will be left after the reaction. Well, since we chose the, um, we're saying that the sodium is limiting because that one is the one that produces less product. So that means that the chlorine is excess. There's going to be some leftover of the chlorine. So if we start with what was pro um, produced by the limiting reactant, which is the 15, 584.4 grams of NaCl, then we can back calculate how much Cl2 that we needed to use to do that conversion. So we first need to back calculate two moles of NaCl. So we'll put grams on bottom and moles on top. And we'll use the molar mass of NaCl, which we calculated before was 58.44 to one mole. Next, that's going to be moles of NaCl. We need to back calculate to first to moles of Cl2, and then because it's asking for how many grams, we need to go one more step further to grams of Cl2. So we'll put moles of NaCl on the bottom and moles of Cl2 on the top. And using the molar coefficients in the balanced reaction, we'll put two with the moles of NaCl and one with the moles of Cl2. So we're back, basically doing kind of backwards of these steps to Cl2. But we need to do one extra step because we need our answer to be in grams of Cl2. So we need to grab the molar mass of Cl2. From the periodic table, the molar mass of Cl is 35.45. But because of the two subscript, we need to multiply that by 2. So that gives us 70.9 grams is one mole of Cl2. So this cancels out the unit of grams and moles of NaCl and then moles of Cl2. So we're left with just grams of Cl2, which is what we want. If we do 584.4 divided by 58.44 divided by 2 times 70.9, I get that to be 354.5 grams of Cl2 is left over at the end. And again, we need to round to three sig figs for our final answer. We round to the four. The five behind it makes the four go up. So we have 355 grams of Cl2 that's left over at the end of the reaction. Okay. So I hope this limiting reactant step-by-step -step problem was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. Or if you have a, a question that you'd like to send me, like a picture or something like that, feel free to send me that to my email, which is listed in the description below. And yeah, if this was helpful for you, I hope you leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.